Hey everyone, welcome to this brief tutorial on connecting to Wi-Fi in Linux Mint using the terminal. I thought I'd do this because people would probably find it useful and I learned how to do it. It's not too difficult if you are comfortable with the command line. So, uh, what I've done is I've disconnected from Ethernet. So I have my laptop here. I'm going to hit Control-Alt-T. T. -T. T. Chris Edmund frame. Chris Edmund dollar sign. Chris Edmund. Edmund. Chris Edmund. And once again, I do apologize for the buzzing. That's just my mixer and the fact that this thing is plugged into power. Actually, I guess I could unplug it. Because. Uh, battery discharging. Laptop battery discharging. 98%. Yeah, okay. And it tells you that it's discharging. This battery does kind of work. I think it'll work until I get through the demo portion of this. So to access your Wi-Fi networks, you type N N M T U I M T U I Network Manager to Lee. Please select an option, edit the connection, activate a connect. Okay, I'm gonna hit control to to make it stop. If I down arrow here. Activate the connection. Set system host name. Radio quit. Radio set system host name. I can go back up. I don't mess with most of these. The two that you'll want to concern yourself with when configuring Wi-Fi. Activate the connection. Is that one? Or if you go up. Edit the connection. Right. Now I want to go to activate. Activate the connection. Wired up arrow. Let's activate greater Ethernet connection one. Okay. Ethernet is the default. I'm not using Ethernet right now. I don't have the cable hooked up, so I'm gonna down arrow. This is where we always hold filled vertical rectangle. Jet of me with me. This is where we always hold five. Okay, I want to connect to the 5 gigahertz network, and for those of you that are curious, it's saying this is where you should be 5. So this laptop does have a 5 gigahertz radio. It is unfortunately Wi-Fi 4, but it will do, so I'm going to press enter here. This is where I'll direct 3CHPO ATT857 connecting. Authentication required by wireless network passwords or encryption keys are required to access the wireless network. This is where we have hold five feet password. Okay, I'm going to type the password. It's not saying anything as I type, but I'll just type. And when I'm done typing, I press enter and it should connect me. This is where we always hold Jedith Mew with the filled vertical rectangle. This is where we all direct 3CHPOATT857 connecting. Wi Fi start. This is where we always hold 5. This is where we always hold Jedith Mew with the direct 3C. HP Office Jet 5200ATT857 ATTXBMCDZM Adam 8P4QQWATTXBMCDZM guest. So it read all that stuff. I wanted. Well, I guess it's not going to read the alert that I'm connected to Wi Fi. Uh, but basically, when you press enter right there, you don't have to listen to the whole thing. You could just hit the control key. Now, to get to quit this menu, you hit the right arrow. Capital A. That's I think that's add. So these command line programs are a bit weird. The only reason I know as much as I do is because I've had lots of experience with these. So I'm gonna hit go to the right. One more time. Capital B. That's the back button. Network manager to Lee. Please select an option. Edit the connection act. Okay. So once you find, once you get into the list, it's uh, 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 up and down arrow to find the Wi-Fi network you want, and then of course you press enter on it to choose it. I'm gonna go down to quit here. Set system host name radio quit. And I'll choose quit. Chris at mint dollar sign. Now I'm back at the terminal, so I'm gonna type ping P I N G. Let's try space. eight point eight point eight point eight. So eight. Eight. Period. Eight. Period. Eight. Period. Eight. That is Google's DNS server. For those of you that are curious. Ping eight point eight point eight point eight. Eight point eight point eight point eight. 56, 84, 64 bytes from I hit the control key. Bytes from 8. Yep, 8. so we are definitely on Wi-Fi now. I'll hit control C. C. 8. 8. Eh, 
and uh, yeah, so now I could do things on Wi-Fi. And uh, let me show you how you would disconnect. So there are a few ways to do this. If you prefer to do it from the command line, I'll type N M T U I Network Manager to Lee. Please select an option. Activate the connection. Now if I go up here, edit a connection. Go here. Ethernet up arrow. Let's add greater Ethernet connection one. Now if I down arrow, this is where we are told five. This will show you a list of all the networks that are saved. If I go up, Ethernet connection one. That's the e Ethernet. This is where we are told five. If I were to press enter on this network, it would bring up a list of information. I don't want that. I'm going to right arrow. Capital A. That's an add. Capital E. E is, I believe, to edit. Capital D. And capital D is delete. So I'll press enter right here. Dot greater hour. Are you sure you want to delete the connection? This is where we are sold five feet. Cancel delete. And it's asking if I'm sure. I don't know why it's reading it like that. Just ignore that. So if I go to the right arrow. Capital D. That's delete. If I go left, capital C, and cancel. I'm gonna hit cancel. Delete cancel. Cancel delete. Wi-Fi let's edit. Wi-Fi let's edit. Greater. Let's delete greater. Down arrow less back greater. Now if I uh, 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 up and down arrow, it is actually reading the values for some reason. Let's delete. Wi-Fi let's edit. Ethernet up arrow left. This is where we are told. Five. Ethernet connection one. This. Capital A. And now I went back up and it's not doing it. So these command line UIs are a bit weird to get used to. Capital E, capital D, capital B. So I'm hit B for back. Network manager, acts radio, quit. And choose quit. Chris admin. Now, the other way to do it is through the graphical environment. Desktop, trash. So you could go to the control center and find advanced network settings. Or the quicker way, if I hit Alt F1 in m m Mate here, menu, and we go to the left arrow. Wait, let's go up. Or no, let's go right arrow. Log out, lock screen, system menu. Oh, wait, places menu. Oh no, I forget. This is not laid out the same way. So we need to go up to system menu, pl system tools menu, uh, pl system menu, s system. Preferences menu. Preferences. Hardware menu. Internet and network menu. Uh, and then we down here to the internet and n network menu. Go in here. Advanced network configuration. And we go in here. Trap network connections frame. Ethernet expanded. Tree level one. So this is just a tree view if you down arrow here. Ethernet connection one. Seven days ago. Wi-Fi expanded. Tree level. This is where we are told five. Five minutes ago. Tree level two. This is the Wi-Fi network. If I tab, add push button. Now I can go to the right arrow. Delete push button. And hit delete. Alert question. Are you sure you wish to delete the connection? This is where you should five. Delete push button. I'll tab over to delete and click on that. Network connections frame. Delete push button. Notification disconnected network. And it tells me that I'm disconnected. So now I can close this with Alt and F4. Yeah. Trash. There we go. Desktop. Trash. So that's close. Des desktop. Trash. So it's a little convoluted. Um, hopefully when we get the upgrade to Mate 1.28, the Wi-Fi menu will actually become accessible. But um, hopefully that helps you. And uh, I do believe this can be used in the installer as well. So if you want Wi-Fi during the installation process, you can type that same command when you boot off the flash drive in the live environment. So, uh, yeah. Um, until next time, you guys take care.